Excuse me, little. All right, guys. Well, it is another windy day there. To put it mildly, I think March is going out like a lion more than it came in. <clears throat> Imagine that here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Friday, March 31st, 2023. Good Lord, we are one-fourth of the way through uh, 2023 today. One-fourth of the way through this year. I don't know. I still feel like time is slowing to a crawl in 2023, but not many people agree with me. So, uh, I am dealing with a constipated little dog. Yes, my entire day is being devoted to getting this dog to take a poop while the uh, world collapses around us. But being Friday, doing what I do every Friday, as you guys know, uh, and that is coming out with my least viewed worst rated video of the week that I have been doing every week now maybe going on 10 years I have been going over to mangabay.com to check in with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay for their weekly cavalcade of collapse going uh, around on the planet so I just want to uh take a few minutes to explain to people why I keep doing this. I understand that even down here in the Doomosphere, nobody is interested in the Manga Bay rant. Uh, and, and just hearing these little snippets from around the planet about how doomed we are. So, uh, like, why do I keep doing this when I understand that nobody, even down here in the Doomosphere, even my fellow Doomer collapsitarians, have no interest in, in hearing what is going on on this planet day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. The reason I do it, guys, is that Manga Bay, more than any other news service I know of, has been chronicling the collapse of this planet uh, relentlessly and, and that's what the record shows you know I could go back uh, and, and pretty much post a rant that I did from Manga Bay 10 years ago and probably most people would not know the difference between a, a Manga Bay rant 10 years ago and one today, it sounds pretty much the same. And, and, and this is kind of the point. Uh, there, there is no better record of how this planet is doing absolutely nothing to change the trajectory that this planet it, it is going down the toilet on. The news is bad uh, every day, and it's getting worse with no change in sight. Everything that Manga Bay was talking about 10 years ago uh, it, it is worse today than it was 10 years ago. And this is just all these, I call it kind of these, the stalactite or the stalagmite. Uh, the little drip, 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 drip. It is death by 10 million cuts what is taking down this planet. And Manga Bay, more than uh, anybody else, you know, has been talking about, when you boil it all down, about uh, habitat destruction, uh, which is the number one threat to the planet at this point. A hell of a lot bigger than than climate change. It is habitat destruction caused by humans. 
uh, that that is ramping up every year as Manga Bay is reports every week all of these new protected areas, the absolute joke concept of protected areas. That habitat is being destroyed inside protected areas as much as anywhere else on this planet. Nowhere is safe from humans. There is no spot on planet Earth safe from humans. And this is what Manga Bay is talking about. Rhett Butler will not put it in those terms. You have to read between the lines of what Manga Bay is reporting. But Manga Bay is reporting there is nowhere safe from the biggest threat to this planet, which is humans. I don't care how much uh, of this bullshit hopium, uh, you know, Rhett is still acts like he's a little bit of an apocaloptimist. He's been preaching this apocaloptimistic hopium uh, for the past 10 years. Not one bit of it has made a damn bit of difference in the downward trajectory of planet Earth caused by too many humans eating too much stuff. So this is why I do it for the few people uh, out there, even down here in the Doomosphere, uh, trying to wrap their heads around the impossibility of turning this freight train around as long as there are eight billion humans on this planet as long as there's eight humans on this planet this freight train will not be turned around this planet is going to hell in a handbasket due to one thing or eight billion things depending on how you look at it so anyway now that I've gotten that off my chest, we're going to put my constipated little dog uh, down for a minute. E e you know, speaking of apocaloptimism, Rhett is still a little bit of a techno-utopian. Yes, this is how we're going to use big tech to save Gibbons. Hmm... How about the big tech of birth control? Uh, yes. You know, and then after this, you, you know, here's a, an article on restoration. I was talking about this, uh, you know, in my review of braiding sweetgrass. I am 100% uh, in favor of restoring degraded ecosystems. Uh, I, I still am saying the best way to restore a, a degraded ecosystem, meaning habitat uh, destroyed by humans, is to get the humans out of the habitat. Let Mother Nature uh, restore uh, you know, this is humans playing God, is what it is. Humans need to get the hell out of the way. Uh, we came, we saw, we destroyed, we raped, we pillaged. Uh, get the hell out of there. Let Mother Nature uh, restore the damage that humans have done. If humans had never arrived on the scene, there would not be any need for restoration. It is certainly our moral duty to restore uh, degraded ecosystems that we destroyed by getting the hell out of here. Uh... Here is this uh, article, you know, Rhett does an excellent job of talking more than anyone else on the planet, blowing the bullshit whistle on hydropower being a clean, green 
power source. There is nothing clean, nothing green, nothing sustainable about hydropower. Uh, this is talking, you know, going over there looking at the Mekong River. Uh, the Mekong River is one of Asia's longest and most influential waterways, sustaining extraordinary species and biodiverse ecosystems, and providing nutrition for millions of humans, of course. But, over the past few decades, the construction of hydropower dams, you know, as the United Nations is touting hydropower uh, to save the planet, the construction of hydropower dams has undermined the river's capacity to support life. More than 160 dams now operate throughout the Mekong Basin, including 13 on the river's main stream, with hundreds, with hundreds more dams either under construction or planned. This is one tropical river system. Hundreds of clean, green, sustainable hydropower dams. All right. Uh, Okay, a story on the round table of sustainable palm oil suspends Brazil palm oil exporter after Manga Bay outed them. There you go. Agro Palma, the only Brazilian company with the sustainability certificate issued by the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil has had its certificate, quote, temporarily suspended since uh, February after Manga Bay uh, ratted them out. Uh, good for Manga Bay, but uh, I don't know why Rhett Butler will not just come out and say there is no such thing as sustainable palm oil. Okay, no such thing as sustainable palm oil any more than there is any such thing as sustainable hydropower, which Red has no problem talking about, uh, any more than there's such a thing as sustainable biofuels. Uh, Rhett Butler is one of the main voices spelling out the bright green lie of sustainable biofuels. So why won't he just come out and say there is no such thing as sustainable palm oil? These RSPO certifications calling anything with palm oil in it sustainable is a bright green lie. It is bullshit corporate greenwashing. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, good. Uh, I will say Rhett is going, uh, as he should be applauded for, uh, doing a full-scale smear campaign uh, against these goddamn Mennonites. Uh, good Lord, uh, the, these guys, uh, the, these Mennonites. I, you know, there, there's some myth, and, and I was probably a little bit, uh, a little bit guilty of it myself. Uh, if you think the myth of the noble savage is bad enough, the myth that M that Mennonites, Amish, whoever are are custodians of this planet, Rhett Butler has some bad news for you. There is no such thing as a sustainable 
Mennonite. All right. Anybody defending Mennonites or Amish people uh, for being custodians of this planet obviously has no clue who a Mennonite, and I throw in the Amish, although uh, Rhett has never talked about the Amish. <clears throat> okay, so you know Manga Bay has its own YouTube channel, and this week, they talked about this last week, uh, anybody who wants to see what the collapse of a planet looks like, go over to Manga Bay's YouTube channel and look at this video of this massive fish die-off in Lake Victoria over there in Kenya. <clears throat> okay, I love it when Rhett Butler asks a question in a headline. <clears throat> The question being, will clean energy minerals, will clean energy minerals provide a shift in how mining is done in Africa? Uh, well, uh, my first reaction is to, it would be to say, no, it won't. But then when you think about it, and thank you, Rhett, for pointing this out, yes, it will provoke a shift in how mining is done in Africa and everywhere else on this planet. Mining for clean energy, the bright green lie of clean energy, mining in Africa is ready to go into planet-eating overdrive. Uh, mining with mining activity ramping up across Africa. Many activists who work with communities there fear that far from benefiting from their mineral wealth, countries that hold reserves for critical minerals will pay the steepest price for their extraction, a replication of the mining footprint without a transformation in the way mining is done. Uh, so it's going to be the same old way mining is done, but five times as much of it as we save the planet from fossil fuels by mining the planet for these little uh, pixie dust rocks. Wow, from uh, Africa to Brazil, in central Brazil, mining companies ignores hmm, indigenous concerns over gold project. Yes, Canadian mining company Aura Minerals plans to establish a major gold extraction project in Brazil's, in the Amazon, without hearing what the Kilo Bombra community that will be affected by the operations has to say about it. Do you think so? Uh, meanwhile, Aura Minerals has seen its value rise nearly 700 uh, percent on the Toronto Stock Exchange in the last three years. Anybody, uh, anybody wanting to make money off the collapse of a planet, put your money in mining firms. The Kilabola, Kilambola, however you pronounce these piece, people, estimate that in the event of an accident with the company's dam, the one of their communities would be instantly engulfed and would disappear completely with no chance to react. Okay, we I was just down there. Uh, in the Yucatan Peninsula, 
uh, the home of this new planet-eating train, Mexico's Train Maya Hotel construction, huh, clears forest reserve without permits. The, the construction of a hotel inside Mexico's Colocmul Biosphere Reserve took many residents by surprise when bulldozers started clearing the forest in January. Yes, the hotel is part of the Train Maya project, a controversial railroad that will move tourists and cargo throughout the Yucatan in southern Mexico. Uh, do you think so? Um, how do palm how do palm oil companies get away with disregarding Indonesian law? Ha imagine that. How could palm oil companies get away with disregarding Indonesian law? Okay, here is more uh, deserved trash talking about Mennonites, this time in Colombia. The last story was Paraguay. Uh, all right, we have an interview with the hopium addled apocalyptimist David Suzuki. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Uh, hope is action. Yes. Thank you, David Suzuki. <clears throat> Moving on to someone who is not uh, a deluded old fart. Okay, another question. Can a new regional pact protect the Amazon from environmental crime? The answer to that question is no. A new regional pact cannot protect the Amazon from organized crime. Uh, okay. Gee. How about this? Human migration to Nepal's tiger capital adds to conservation challenges. Hmm. Anyway, uh, good lord, this goes on and on. Let me just read the headline since I realize I'm talking to myself. You don't need to take the little dog out to see if he can poop. Deforestation drives fire risk in Borneo amid a warming climate. As oceans warm, temperate reef species edge closer to extinction. Oh, I see. They're getting into last week's. For whatever reason, they didn't have a uh, an email last week, so they're just uh, repeating last week's. But anyway, I have got to wrap this story up because uh, I stuffed some pumpkin down my little dog's throat about two hours ago. We're going to start with uh, treating this problem from the front end. He has, an, he has six hours to poop from uh, eating the pumpkin, and then we're going to move on to this end with some glycerin suppositories to see if we can keep things moving along in the collapse of my dog's digestive system. Get out there uh, and enjoy your pureed pumpkin and keep things moving while you still can. Bye, guys. Have a good one.